Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Houston. And as you can see I'm getting stuck straight back into the build of the station. Um, what you're witnessing at the moment is me finishing off the guttering I have just installed. Um, I'll explain in a minute um, what I used to do that. Um, yeah, regarding the last video, uh, that's some great response yet again from you guys uh, for the running session and uh, a lot of you have been inquiring about the J36 mode um, I got that from Herborn Models up in Edinburgh uh, quite reasonably priced cheaper than what it is or it was on the Hornby website so, um, by about 40 quid so that's what you saw in the last video um, right so let me explain about the guttering to explain about the guttering we've come over to New Hassle Central and what we're looking at is the Pico um, oval roof um, when it's in kit form, you get lots of bits like this, which was keeping the um, arch um, separated, if you like, or, or firmly in place in the kit. Um, and this is what I've used. And it's quite effective uh, because if you look closely, you have a edge it's like it's been molded in two parts and you have these little um, sort of um, connecting pieces where the arches used to be before I um, cut them out and it's three mil in diameter and basically it, it looks it looks right and all I'm doing now is just going around sanding off any bits of glue um, along this edge so when I come to paint it um, it'll be nice and smooth but still trying to keep that little edge on the edge because then that, that would represent the guttering as it were um, these white marks off the super glue I've used um, Yoohoo glue to start with and then just a couple of tiny spots of super glue just to make sure it's held in place um, this area is still a bit wet so I can't sand that just yet I've got to leave that for 24 hours before I start sanding that so this is where we are at the moment um, as you can see we have the roof that lifts off for the access for the cables um, I didn't do a video of that but I just got this done just in time for the last video because um, it would have looked odd filming the station with the roof off <laughs> so yeah now I'm not sure what to do about the drain pipes just yet um, in the past I've used soldering wire and just wire basically um, a pole over a golgum hole he's used wire and he's also wrapped um, thinner wire around the wire to give the idea that there's brackets in the joints of the um, drain pipe so I might do that but um, at the moment or for the moment I'm going to concentrate on the chimney pots. I'm just wondering how many of you guys out there have got these lovely Medcalf kits and how many times have you actually knocked these chimney pots off by accident. Now personally myself I do not glue these buildings down these are all loose and the reason why I do that just in case I accidentally knock them but now and again I do actually 
knock these chimney pots off. So if you're watching this, I've come up with a solution um, for stop this from happening in the future. Now then, but that's if you leave your buildings loose like I do. So let's go over to the bench. Right, we're back at the bench, and uh, I've seemed to have missed this little bench, even though I've been away from it for for a week or so. Anyway, what we got in front of us here is the two drawings I made ages ago um, regarding the heights and widths of the chimneys. But the only bits we haven't done is the actual bases and pots. Um, this is the one we're going to stick with. These ones, I, although I drawed it up, these were the replacement ones for the ones that got damaged during the war. So I'm going to make them all like this. Um, and they've gone up in steps of two, so that's like six mil from the base to the top for the pots to sit on. So, and here is the pre-made kits. If I just move the drawing out to one side, there's nine chimney pots all in all. And I did a recce and I made up another rough sketch. So, nice big block here, loads of sketches to come. <laughs> right, so here we are. And as you can see, I have cut the different sizes of um, chimney bases going from 14 mil square down to 12 mil square and then 10 mil square. These are the twin pot ones. These are the single pot ones, which start off at 13, then down to 11, and then down to 8. And these two odd balls, this one here and this one here, this twin one is for the gents, and this single one is for, I think it's for the one next to the tower, that odd ball one. So the first thing I want to do is stick these together. But before we stick them together, I just want to show you the actual capping stones of the chimney pots. How they're square, then they're curved up. So there's a slope on them. And, um, and so once the chimney pot bases are all glued together, I've got to form that sh slope. So, I'm going to be using super glue to stick the card together. Now, the only reason why I'm using super glue is that it forms a hard crust and it also seeps into the card. And therefore, when I come to chamfer it, it should leave a nice neat finish so we'll soon see if I'm right or wrong so the idea is once they're all stuck together is to take that middle piece out and curve it slightly all the way around oops all the way around Right, so I'm down to the last one, just gluing the um, caps together. Just making sure you get them bang in the centre before you press. Now you don't get much time with super glue, as you know. And you've got to be careful you don't get your fingers stuck to the card. Right, so that's the last one. Right, so that's four of them. Oddball. And five of them. Right, so the next bit is we've got to chamfer that one there. We've got to put a curve in there. So I'm going to use a file for this. I'm going to try using a file for this, see if that works. So all I want to do 
is just take the edge off of each one of the middle plates as it were just like that as you can see it's just took the edge off there's one that hasn't been done and there's one that has been done this edge here so that's all I'm going to do is go around all of them just taking that edge off I think using the super glue hardens the card up to allow you to do this I'm using a round file by the way edge off to give it a little bit of a radius but it's furred up in a few places so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to run some more super glue around the middle one so I can just take it off again just to take it down a little bit more because it has furred up in the corners so I shall do that So the idea of this is it'll soak into the card and then when I go around again it'll be like plastic and there should be no furs or fur ups from the card when I come to paint it and that's the plan just try not to get any on your fingers It don't have to be your expensive super glue you use. I mean, the stuff I'm using is cheap and nasty. You can get five tubes for a quid at your local pound shop. And I'm not putting that much on it, just enough to, to seal the edges. You remember early on in the video, we were talking about the Medcalf chimney pot snapping and um, how to fix them on so they don't snap again. I come up with a cunning plan because I've got to do something similar to the ones on the station. Now we know that the Medcalf chimney breasts are normally solid with a good few thicknesses of card. So I've measured a Medcalf chimney pot and they're roughly about 3mm thick. Now that is 3mm thick and what I've done is I've stuck it to a toothpick and I've allowed for at least 12 millimeters to go into the card so what you could do if there's no damage to the stone that's on the top you could drill a little pilot hole and then stick that into the chimney and it shouldn't um, snap off again it'll give you that little bit of resistance if you accidentally knock it um, obviously my ones are slightly longer because I've got to go through the stone. Um, yes, yeah, so it should work. Uh, I've got a replacement Medcalf one to do. I think the Medcalf chimneys are slightly taller than the chimneys that I'm putting on the um, station. Um, the ones on the station are about nine mil, and I think the the ones on the Medcalf kits are ten mil. They're slightly slightly longer. So I thought I'd just uh, let you know that because that's what I'm going to do with these now. So what I'll do is just for my ones, for your ones, if you're doing yours, they're, they're about 22 millimeters. I'll just check. 
no they're 20 millimeters so you got 10 well I think you'll need 22 millimeters because you need 10 mil for the chimney pot and at least 12 mil to go into the card to give that good solid bond with the chimney so my ones are about 26 mil long so what I'll do is keep the point because the point will help you line it up line up the um, hole that you drill in into the chimney pot and then just snap it now if you happen to make one from scratch this is already a millimeter and a half um, in thickness of the toothpick so I need about 20 millimeters worth of paper so then what I do then I won't be using super glue for this because the chances are I'll get my fingers stuck and then you just roll it round the toothpick simple as that and then just let the glue roll around and follow it around like that just roll it on and that should be three millimeters thick right I've got 15 of these to make all right so I've just finished the last one so that's 15 chimney pots right so remember earlier I put the super glue on the edges and that has gone rock hard it's like it is it's like plastic so what I'm going to do now is just just, just take the edge off because the curves already there so it's just making sure that any fur off the card is not there anymore right so now that they're done it's just a case of finding the center of my chimney top um, base if you like and then drill in a two mil hole to take the toothpick and uh, once it's drilled this is the one I've done earlier as you can see it's gone through the actual coping stone or capping stones if you like and I've still got a good um, 15 mil there to go into the chimney breast obviously Medcalf ones might need a little bit less so that is the Medcalf fix um, and I think that would work as long as your buildings are free to move so if you if the chimney pot does take the impact it won't snap but I, your breast chimney breast should not break if anything the building might move and that's and that's it and you, you won't have any more trouble with your chimney pots right so getting back to what I was doing just a case of putting a little bit of glue over the hole getting your toothpick and then just pushing it backwards and forwards till the glue comes right through to the bottom like so and then just just carefully eye it up and just see if it needs pulling one way or the other to straighten up and then that's ready to be glued onto the chimney breast All right <sighs> 14 more to go we have our chimney pots done and they're ready for painting so the first thing I want to paint is the um, actual capping stones for the chimney breasts and the paint I'm using is a matte 146 um, it's the same paint I've been using throughout the station build for the sandstone so I'm just gonna put that on there and um, see what it looks like Hopefully there should be no furring up of the card. Right, 
There you go. So all that sanding and super gluing has worked. Just giving it nice sharp edges, probably too sharp. So I might have to give it a couple of coats of paint just to soften it up a little bit. Right, that's the chimney capping stones painted. Uh, they've had two coats, they're still a little bit wet. Uh, I'll let them dry a little bit longer before the um, before we do the actual pots themselves. Um, as you can see, the edges have come up really sharp and I think that's the effect of the super glue. Because I don't think they would have come up that sharp if they were just left as card trying to sand the card. I think it would have furred up like it has on the bottom edge there. I don't know if you can see that but if it uh, left as it was it would have furred, off, furred up a little bit like it has on the bottom edges of these um, capping stones. Right so the next thing to do is to paint the pots a nice clay orange I think. Right, so I'm painting the last of the chimney pots now. Um, to get the colour I mixed in a bit of satin red, 52, uh, a matte 69, no sorry, a matte 59, and a matte 249 for the brown. So I mixed 50-50 red and yellow and then I just added the brown just to tone it down because it was a bit too orangey and this is more like a terracotta colour so and that's this is the last one I'm not too worried if I've got a little bit on the capping stone because I can just touch that up later on so the only other thing left to do with these now is just to add um, some black paint to go on the top just to represent um, the soot and the actual hole in the chimney and then we can fit them on the station. Right, uh, as you can see I'm just about to fit the very last chimney pot. Um, what I'm doing, I'm just holding the chimney pot up against the side of the chimney breast and just marking the actual um, toothpick for the centre of the chim chimney breast on both planes this way and this way and that gives me hopefully a central position for the chimney pot. There's only one pot on this one so I'm using the same drill bit as I used to drill the card which is a 2mm drill bit and the card because it's solid the card actually turns to mush just like that it just turns to powder um, so what then I do I just do a test fit, make sure it um, goes on equally in both planes, this plane and this plane. And sometimes you might just need to turn it round. Oh, that's even bad that way. Yes, yeah, so I'll leave it as it was there. Okay, and then just uh, blow the just blow the dust out the top of the hole, and then just pop some glue in the hole. And what we do now is we just get the toothpick and just push it up and down and what happens then the glue will hopefully sink into the chimney pot. Just doing a test fit again just making sure I've got it equal all the way around. Nope, I think that's well yeah that's better that way. And then just press it home. off the excess that's it, that's 
change the look of the station yet again. Let's have an overall view. Yeah, that's not bad, that. It's turned out all right. Like I said, it's uh, changed the appearance of the station yet again. Now then, let's see uh, what it looks like against the photograph. So there we have the photograph and if we just turn the camera and try and get it to look across there if we come down to uh, look street level So for repairing Metcalf kits as the chimney pots get knocked off, I think that would work quite well um, with the tip uh, toothpicks um, going into a solid chimney. Now super quick kits um, haven't got a solid chimney, they're normally hollow. So if you wanted to repair them you would have to measure the internal di dimensions of the chimney and put some card in and then um, and then use a toothpick just to give it some um, strength um, like I said before this building's not fixed it's, it will move so uh, if I accidentally hit that tap that it should not break here so I could give that not breaking. You do that with a Metcalf one you'll probably snap it. So I think that's all for this week. Um, another little progress what with the the gut ring now and the chimney pots. There's only a couple of things left to finish the roof off completely and that's the red flashing and then the final paint job. So yeah, that's all from me. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Until then, keep safe and happy modelling. Bye for now. Bye.